Hey guys, I just wanted to talk today about a few things that I know will be a game changer for you and you will see better results with anything that you're manifesting in your reality, whether it is something related to health, anything related to money, any form of a relationship, including your specific person. It's Sunday and I woke up with this information in my mind so obviously there are many of you guys out there that need to he hear this. So please claim it down below if this answered one or all of your questions, if this was of value to you. So the first thing I want to talk about is your awareness of what meaning you are assigning to everything from your thoughts, from the feelings, like the sensations in your human body, as well as the things that are happening in your 3D. You might just have, like, you might just be a little bit off and be emotional. It could be hormonal. It could be for something that you ate or drank that's just messing with your mind a little bit. Or it could also be because your subconscious mind, and this has nothing to do, like let's say that you're manifesting a relationship with your specific person. So you're living from the end of being happily and blissfully, harmoniously together, having a wonderful, easy, loving, strong relationship that the two of you guys are just the best things that ever happened to each other's lives. That is the level of love and passion that you guys have with each other. So that is what you are, that's the that's what's in the end. And that's what most of us want, right? And then you're just doing things, you're doing your inner work, and then all of a sudden you're looking at stuff and all of a sudden you you have a feeling that's very, it goes from your heart to the pit of your stomach and you suddenly feel sorrow. You suddenly feel incredibly sad. And immediately you assign the meaning, I must be messing this up. I must have just thought something that I'm not aware of. Um, I, I, I must not be doing this right. When that emotional feeling you're having could be literally any of the things that I mentioned. It could also just be because your subconscious mind, how vast and powerful it is, which you are now becoming aware of, literally could have just because of something that you saw, because of something that you heard, that you tasted, or that you smelled, something with your five senses, You it was a trigger basically, that it just reminded you of something that could have happened when you were four or five years old. But you've assigned it to your person and now you've projected it onto your manifestation with your person when it literally has nothing to do with it. I'll give you a quick example of this. And then I'll talk about the next tip. I was visualizing me and my SP's dream home. And I was visualizing that we went grocery shopping. We were driving up the driveway, which is kind of like a street in itself. It's so long and it's such a private, amazing. Uh, I just love everything. We, we both love everything about it equally. So we're, we're driving up, we went grocery shopping, I'm approaching the garage and I see the, I see my Range Rover and I see his car, but we were actually driving in a very specific mini with a very specific color of the interior and the features and the outside and everything that, so in other words, this suddenly became in my imagination, I didn't intentionally think about it. It just suddenly came into my head. So now then I started becoming obsessed in the 3D with just looking it up just for fun. I don't need the car. I love my Range Rover Evoque. I don't presently right now need the the Mini in, in my reality, but the end exists. One of infinite realities exists where we have our dream home. I have a Mini as well as my Range Rover Evoque. One day I saw a different model and suddenly I'm looking and suddenly out of nowhere, I just had this horrible feeling, this horrible sadness come over me. And I stepped back from it for a second and I just took some deep breaths. I, I didn't assign any negative meaning to my SP, to our home, to me owning a mini countryman. I just literally like went into my heart for a second. And then I became aware my former employee, we were very close he had a mini club man. So it's a different model than what I'm looking at. Through the pandemic and me and my former employee, we became very close. We were like brother and sister. And I don't know if he passed away or not. The last time I saw him, 
It was so painful to see him the way I saw him. So I have an association that I wasn't even aware of with the mini clubman. But do you see how I didn't automatically just go on autopilot and assign negative meanings that ha this has anything to do with me having a mini countryman with my SP or with our house together. So I just wanted to use that as an example, because a lot of you guys do just kind of go on autopilot and you're being taken. You're constantly being taken by your emotions. You are not your emotions. So realize that I am not my emotions. Become the observer of your emotions. Look up the Sedona method. It's very, very, very powerful. I haven't really done it in years, but I learned how to do it early on when I was deliberately manifesting. And it is an incredibly powerful tool to really become more of the observer of your emotions and not to become your emotions. So when you say I'm angry, I'm sad, no, you're not angry or sad. Your human body is feeling angry or sad and don't assign negative meaning to the things that you're manifesting. Okay. So look up Sedona method because that can be a game changer for many people. So assign positive meaning from now on to everything. And don't connect everything to the things that you're manifesting. The second thing I want to talk about is that it is very important to let out the pain, the hurt, the sadness, and the anger when it does come up, if it's something related to any form of a relationship, but let it go, let it out. And even while you're crying, you know how many times like during a separation with my SP, I would cry like a baby. I would cry like a baby. And then while I was crying, tears running down my face, I'm giving myself the love that I want. And I'm telling myself also, this is all working for us. This is all contributing for us. It doesn't matter somehow, some way, everything is working out for us. This is good. This is how it's supposed to happen. This is okay. And I would just let it out. And I felt so much more empowered after letting it out. And oftentimes after those breakdowns, there were big breakthroughs. Okay, so don't be afraid to cry. You're not ruining your manifestation if you cry. The third thing I want to talk about is keeping your manifestation to yourself. It is between you and God, period. So between you and the highest of gods, you and the God that is going to handle it all for you, that it's not your job. Do not talk about your manifestations to anyone. Because I hear it over and over and over again. I'll like say I'll be working with a client as we keep talking. It ends up coming out just through conversation that they'll say something along the lines of. And when I say this, this isn't a like this. I'm not meaning to I, I'm not saying this to make you feel shame. I'm just saying this is a 3D trap that you don't want to do. They'll end up saying, oh, I was talking to so and so my mother. I was talking to my brother. I was talking to my best friend. I was talking to my sister about blah, 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 blah. Don't do that because it is a 3D trap and it often is the cause of people spiraling and then kind of losing their way. And then they have to do all of this work to get back in alignment with the truth, with what's in their hearts, what is in their heart and soul, which is their kingdom of heaven that already exists. Okay. We pull ourselves out of alignment very easily with these 3D traps. So I just wanted to share that. When you are in the relationship, when you're back together with your specific person, what goes on between you and your specific person is between you and your specific person. Try to set healthy boundaries with everyone in your reality. The whole, the old idea about venting to get things off of your chest when things happen is not, is almost the worst thing that you can do when it comes to consciously creating and deliberately manifesting the things that you want in your reality. Because when, when something happens and then I need to vent, I needed to get it off my chest. I was frustrated. So I had to say this, no, what you're doing is actually falling for the 3d lie that's happening. You're ruminating on it. And then you're complaining about it, which is actually building it up and giving it more power. The version of you that you are being is not the version of you who is happy in a healthy, blissful, secure relationship. OK, so you need to go back and trust of the end of you guys worked it out and you can imagine having a conversation that you say to your family or friends of how wonderful the two of you guys are doing. And if you are hanging out with them in the 3D, you just don't bring it up. And if they ask, so what's happening with you guys? Everything is great. Everything is great. If, if anything comes up and I need to talk, I'll let you know.
Okay. So everything is between you and your specific person. So set healthy boundaries. And the last thing I want to say is, let me see. The last most important tip is do not ever look for proof in your 3D reality. As soon as you find yourself wanting to check to see, is my inner work working? Please catch yourself right at that thought. Stop yourself and recognize I am not in trust right now. It's that simple. Curiosity killed the cat, okay? Don't go seeking for evidence in your 3D reality, period. All of the proof that you need is having faith and trust in what is in your heart and soul, your intuition. Florence Scovel Shin said, praying to God is you making a phone call to God when intuition is God making a phone call to you. So your feeling when you are in alignment, when you are feeling good in your heart and soul and in trust and in faith, you are listening to God. You're listening to your intuition and stop projecting the negative stories onto your specific person. I love you so much. If you need me, reach out. You can email me at Kim at coreunion.com. If you love my videos and love my content, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I create new videos and I will talk to you soon. I love you. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come, nothing can come between us.